On this week's episode of Mid-State Outdoors, we're going to take a look back the past couple weeks. We've been pretty busy doing some property management. Um, myself, I've been, we did a controlled burn on 65 acres of native grasses, CRP grasses, uh, one of my properties that I hunt. Zach, uh, they, he's been busy doing dropping some, hinge, some trees and doing some hinges. Doing some hinge cutting and dropping some trees, yep. kind of getting some uh, growth. Yeah, growth and uh, <laughs> yeah. and a woods of his. Yep. So we're gonna take a look back at that this week and hope you guys enjoy. So our reason for this controlled burn is actually we it's a a farm I've hunted. You'll see me hunt quite a bit this year, um, in previous years. It's a 60 acre CRP field. Um, and the reason for burning it off is to kind of promote a regrowth um we had some a good stand of crp and switchgrass um native grasses and but we we're as the years progressed we started getting a lot of weeds and the reason for burning it off is to kill them weeds and in hopes of getting the native grasses to regrow and obviously is most of us know in the springtime is the best time to do that because that's when everything starts to take off and grow. So also in that, um, in areas that were heavily weeded, we are going to go in, or I am going to go in, all of us guys yep. are, go in and um, broadcast some native grasses, big blue stem, little blue stem, switch grass, um, the next couple weeks here before a couple rains, before we get busy planting our food plots, um, just to get... A good stand hopefully a better stand I should say to kind of hold that wildlife and the habitat good bedding areas yep. so that's kind of our goals and intentions and hopefully you guys enjoy and basically uh, this last weekend we got together a couple of guys and uh, dropped some trees at my grandpa's I'm trying to get the canopy opened up to get some growth on the floor there um, basically the problem I've been having in previous years is uh, getting in and out of the property with being undetected. Uh, there's absolutely no cover, basically see right through the whole woods. So uh, basically we're dropping these trees. I'm going to go back possibly this weekend and uh, do some hinge cutting. And actually I think me and Jake are going to go back there with some leaf blowers. We were going to burn it, but they put on a burn band. Uh, we're going to try getting some of these leaves off the, the floor too, move them around a little bit. I'm trying to get some growth going this year, so... Um, basically in hopes of keeping bucks or, I mean, basically deer bedded on the property. Um, so I mean, yeah, really. It should, that that should. being said, he's, every year he's always had yeah. three or four shooter bucks on yep. camera. Just can't keep them there. But they're, it's a pass-through as right yep. now, and we're trying to make it so it's a, you know, bedding area, they got food, I mean, he's got yeah, food, food plots, water. we do good on food plots, he's got a pond there. Um, just trying to keep them deer so they're comfortable so they stay there yep. and that's not just a pasture they don't they're not in there in the dark you know hopefully come rut now right hopefully, I had hopefully this grows that way you know during the rut they're yeah. they're cruising through there more often and they make that that's more of their pattern so that I had a good uh, you know a couple good encounters with Casper bucks this the year Big Ten. yeah I mean Casper he lived there uh, for part of the year and then I lost him about rut time but I think uh, it's going to make a lot more success towards the end of the year, you know, having that extra growth, you know, they're going to like live in there a lot more when they got the browse, you know, that they can get to and everything without having to move very far. So, and even, even through the rut, you know, cruising, looking for does. Yeah. I mean, you, know, you get, you get, you get a hot doe better there. You might be your, your, your first hot doe of the season yeah. might be better up in there and yep. she might live there and call that home. Yep. Well, guess what? That big buck Bring comes through there and he's going to stay there. So, yep. so yeah, that's right. basically the plan. Um, and you guys will see here within the next probably month or so, I'll get that property wrapped up. So you guys will see more of that, but uh, check and out this week's episode. I mean, it's going to be a good one. A little bit of, you know, tips and everything along the way. And, and you we'll, know, be, we'll, we'll be getting into planting food plots here the next couple months. Yeah. As farming season wraps up. Yep. We'll Trying to take our time, up. you know, getting our property set up for success. So um, you guys remember to just like, subscribe, and uh, share our videos. Feel free to um, comment too. Yeah. Leave a comment and everything else. So thanks guys. Enjoy this week's episode.